hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width should be 1920, height should be 1080, frame rate is 30 and duration is 1 minute. And for our background color, this time I'll choose red color and hit OK and simply hit OK to create our main composition. Now choose grid and guide option and hit title selection. Now press Ctrl N to create a new composition. I'll call it as text strip hit ok width i choose 2000 and height i will choose over here um, in this, let's say 100 and simply hit ok like this now press ctrl y to create a solid background layer i will call it as bg and simply hit ok and i will lock this layer now select our text tool type one text over here i will type over here is Let's say kinetic. I'll reduce the font size. Typography. For the font, I'll choose someone like this. Hit Ctrl A to copy those text. Ctrl C. Hit space two times and hit Ctrl V. Again, hit space two times and hit Ctrl V. Now I'll select my text. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit like this. Now select this text. Press P for position property and create one keyframe and hit Ctrl D. Now I'll hide this layer for now. Now select this text. Press V for selection tool like this. Now after that go to 4 seconds and again create another keyframe. Now go to the start and by holding shift I will drag this layer out of this composition like this. Zoom in a little bit go over here. By holding shift I will drag this over here. Now alt click on this keyframes and simply apply loop out expression on it like this if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now go to this tab and now i'll unhide this my first layer which i have unhided now after that parent this layer with this second text and if we hit play now we will get this kind of looping animation continuously now this is our text here. now we have to create one uh, another composition press ctrl n i'll call this composition as box and for the height of this composition i'll take 200 and simply hit ok now press ctrl 0 to open our project window and simply drag our text shape over here like this press ctrl k to open our composition settings and increase the height up to 500 for now now select this composition press ctrl d to duplicate it press y to choose our pen by hand tail and by holding control i'll snap this anchor point at the bottom press v for selection tool and drag it at the top select over here by holding control i'll simply snap this zoom in a little bit by holding control i'll snap this over here select both the layers and drag it over here now same procedure we will apply hit control d by holding control i snap this thing over here again hit ctrl d by holding ctrl i snap this things over here now select all those layers and convert it into 3d now this this is my third layer i'll make it apparent with this fourth one this second layer i'll make it apparent with this third one and this first layer i'll make it apparent with the second one like this now instead of active camera i'll choose left as you can see we can see this four layers over here like that now select this text strip press r for rotation property and if we rotate on uh, x-axis we'll rotate it on 90 degree 
select this second one press r on x axis i'll rotate it from 90 degree select this first one r on x rotation i'll choose 90 degree like this now press right click new and null object i'll simply create one null object over here now i'll select my this layer i will move this over here or we are not going to move this anything we'll choose first active camera let's see what will happen now go to the left again select this null object make it into 3d like this now select this fifth layer i'll move this thing over here and over here like that now i will choose my active camera like this now we will select our fifth layer and make it apparent with this null one now select this null one press r as we can see we can rotate it on any axis but we will rotate this continuously on x axis like this alt click on this x rotation and type time into let's say 200 or let's say 100 like that if you play we will get this kind of stuff these are the solar text press s only So after that what we will do, after parenting we will choose our last layer which is this one, we will ending this scaling over here because our alt text is inverted. So to get rid of this what we will do, we will select our fifth layer, unlink this scaling and I will instead of 100 I will make it minus 100 like this. So we will get this kind of animation. Hit you now as you can see all of them are combination of white and black so select the alternate layers if i go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it like this and swap these colors select this one or this one so we swap these colors so we will get this kind of animation now our text strip is ready now what we will do, we will select both of them, but before that what we will do, we will hit Ctrl K and I will increase the height it up to 600 for that. Select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C, I will call it as my link box and hit OK. Now after that what I will do, I will go to the effect and presets panel, but before that what I will do, I will go to the main box, now hit Ctrl K. And over here, I will decrease the height like this. If I hit play, you will get something like this. Hit Ctrl K and increase the height a little bit like this. Hit OK. Now go to our box. This is our main box. Now go to the effect and presets panel and apply mesh warp effect on it columns i choose 5 or uh, let's say 6 and for the rows i choose 0 now what we will do i will select this handle and this handle this handle and this handle by holding shift i am selecting those handles this handle and this handle by holding shift sorry hit control save don't select all of them at the time by holding shift i will simply move this over here like this press ctrl r to open our ruler i will drag one rule over here now select this middle one move this thing over here select this one by holding shift i will move this thing over here like this now select this one and this one i'll bring it down up to here i'll drag this ruler over here now now select this this one and this one and then shift drag it up to here 
select this one and this one for holding shift I will drag this over here select this one and this one drag it over here like this now we will go to main animation hit ctrl 0 and drag my box composition over here if we hit play we will get this kind of stuff as we can see the quality is not good so for that what we will do I go to our main box go to the effect and presets panel and quality I will choose 20 now if we hit play over here we will get this kind of stuff now hit ctrl D and simply move this box over here we need this kind of stuff if we hit play we will get this kind of thing now after that create one new null object select both of them make it apparent with this null tool and bring back the null over here press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit like this yeah. now after that this is our second box so for that what i will do now we want some portion should be at the top and some portion should be at the back so for that what I will do, like suppose I will select my rectangle tool, first thing I will do, I will make one mask over here, like this. After that hit ctrl D, press M, select this mask, then then shift, I will move this mask over here, like this, again hit ctrl D, press M, select this mask. I will just mask over here like this. Hit Ctrl D, press M, delete this mask, and simply drag this thing over here. As you can see, we have this alternations things over here. So yep, this is our almost final output. Now select this null, press R for rotation, we will rotate it, press S increase the scale like this press ctrl y to create sorry background layer i will choose white color if we hit play we will get something like this or you can choose black color also i think the black color will look a little bit nice like this select this and you can scale it a little bit like this And if you want to change the color, simply create a new adjustment layer and apply tint effect on it. And you can simply swap these colors. Or you can change the colors as we know. Like this. So yep, this is our final animation of kinetic typography like this. If you want to uh, decrease the speed, all you need to do is still go to the text stream and I will move this thing over here and go to the box or main box, select this main one, press R for rotation, go to the script instead of 50, you can choose appropriate amount like this 50 and you will get a little bit slow animation over here so our main animation is almost ready so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates and if you want to watch after effect tutorials in hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called ag animations link will be available in the description until then stay tuned